Hi, I'm Ashmail12.com and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the overflow property in CSS. Now the overall overflow property in CSS is useful for if you have a box or a div or a part of the uh, the site which is limited to a certain height or width and if you have too much text in that div then it will overflow if you like the the div and it will go over any other text on the page so if you don't quite get what I'm talking about I'm going to show you what it looks like now so this is just something I've put together real quick um, and as you can see this is the space I've limited to and because I've not used the overflow property the because there's too much text to actually fit in the div then it will overflow out of the div and over any other text as you can see here now this is the code if I go to the HTML page I've got this in a div called main which this paragraph is um, from the Able 12 website's home page and this outside the div is just something I put together just about this tutorial okay so in styles.css I've specified a fixed width and height which is this width and height right here which I have also put the background color there and I've just upped the font size a bit um, so we can distinguish between each even though it's kind of sort of obvious and also just to fill in this box a bit bigger so we've got a bit more um, a bit more text size if you know what I mean and um, so okay so now if we get started with the overflow property um, now the overall property has five properties in this. Um, you've got visible, so well va value should I say not property. Overflow has five values, so so visible, which is um, the default. So if I just refresh, nothing will happen because it's the default. That's that's it. Just shows everything. Um, and then we have hidden which will hide anything outside the div so any ev so everything outside this box here will disappear so all this from here if you'll know what I mean so if I refresh as you can see everything outside the box gets hidden now this isn't very useful because you've just lost like half your text or probably more than half if you've got quite a lot of text so it's kind of pointless to have hidden really but it's there as an option and um, the next is scroll oops scroll scroll which will add scroll bars to the right side and the bottom so as you can see now we can scroll down like so and view all the text which is a bit more useful but what about if we don't want this bar here this one at the bottom it's just taking up space and we don't need to so what we can use is the auto value and this will basically does what it says on the tin it will automatically add what it needs to to make it the best possible way so if I refresh as you can see all we get is the right scroll bar because that's all that's all we need so that's the overflow property it can be useful if you want to section off parts of the site with keeping a fixed height on something so you know what I mean it's something like this in your site um, and there is one more like I said these five and that's inherit so if I just type in inherit here inherit basically gets the value from a parent element but because we haven't got a parent element and so pretty much the parent element is equal to default which is then equal to visible if you know what I mean so I so if I refresh it will just go back to overflowing like this because that's basically the default the parent element is so far the default if you know what I mean it's kind of works complicated but once you get the hang of it basically all you would need if you're gonna use this the best possible way is auto because it just automatically puts everything nice and neat for you and doesn't leave anything 
uh, what's the word, untidy. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.